In our previous class, we had seen how to download and install this BI Publisher add-in in our Microsoft Office. In this class, we will try to create our very first RTF template based BIP report using this BI Publisher add-in. So before we create a RTF template to create a BIP report, we should have a data model. Let me show you a sample data model which I have created. Here is the sample data model which is based on this query and it is getting a data from this GL code combination. Let me just run this query and show you the response. Let me make it 50, click on view. Switch over to the table view. Here is the sample data which is available in my instance. First of all, we will save this data model in our catalog. Then we have to save as a sample data. So these are the first steps we have to do before creating a BIP report. Next, the question will come, how can I connect this BI Publisher adding which is available in my MS Word to the Fusion BIP catalog? The answer is, if you see over here, we have to export the data and manually upload to this Word document over here. If you go to BI Publisher, there is an option to upload the sample XML. So in order to upload, we have to first of all export the data from the data model. Click on this export, it will download the .xml file. Next, come over to the Word document click on sample xml you have to locate this file which you have exported that is .xml click on open you will get a message called as data loaded successfully click on ok next the most easiest way in order to create the tabular view in the rtf template that is using the word is if you see over here there is an option called as table wizard we will get three options whether we want to show it as a form table and free form in this case, we are getting n number of records over here. So form based approach will not be feasible in this case. So I will go for the table, click on next. Next, if your query is returning multiple data or the multiple nodes, for example, here in this case, we are having the output from single query. Suppose if you are returning multiple nodes from your query, like order header and the order lines, then you can select from which node you want to display the data. I am getting only one, I will select G1. Click on next. Here I will show the code combination ID, the account type, enabled flag and the segment 3. So this is just for demonstration. You can select as per your use case. Click on next. Next we will get couple of options group by and all. I will keep it default and click on finish. So as soon as we click on finish, a table view will be added over here and Oracle will add few of the coding over here. Suppose if I double click on the F over here, if you see just double click. Here in the advanced, you will see it is adding the for each loop on the G1. That is for each loop on the G1 record. That is the table data what we get over here. That is this one G1. If you are getting n number of G1 nodes, then it will show n number of rows over here like this. So it will show the code combination field. If you double click on this, you will see what is the field it is mapped to code combination. Suppose if you want to change to some other value, we can do so. And at the end, it is ending the for loop. If you just click on this E over here, double click, here you will see end for each, which we had started over here. So in between, we are having a number of fields. So in our next class, we will see how we can manually create this table one by one adding all the fields. So in this class, we had seen the easiest way in order to populate the data in the tabular fashion using this table wizard. Now your question might be, how we can see what will be the output from this RTF template. So there is this option called as PDF, HTML, Excel, so and so forth things. We will click on PDF as it is most widely used output format used for BIP reports. Click on this PDF. First of all, it is asking to save the file. I will tell demo and the class to click on save. It will launch the output. So this is how the BIP report response will look like. Suppose if you want to change the heading over here, I don't want underscore over here, just you can rename like this. Let me just rename, you can type flag and the segment 3 and click on again PDF. Here if you see we are getting the updated table header. Next I will add the heading over here. Let me switch over to the home. I will make this font as like 25 or 22. I will tell dummy report for learning 
So we can make this bold con select and make it bold over here and you can make even underline and make it center align. Now again let me just go to the BI publication and click on this PDF output. Now we are getting the heading for our report. So this is how we can create the RTF template using the Word document. Now let me just go back to my catalog over here and I will create a report. Click on this create report from our data model. So the data model will be automatically selected over here since we clicked on create report based on the data model. I will tell use report editor and click on finish because we will be uploading our RTF template. It is asking to save before we proceed. Let me save this over here. Let me name this as a report and click on OK. Done our report got saved successfully. There is an option over here called as upload RTF just click on this before that we have to make sure we save our file click on save done click on this upload over here select the file it's over here demo class 2 select this and click on upload before that layout name I will tell this as RTF template it is asking for the type I will tell this is RTF template and locale I will give as English over here United States click on upload then we can click on this view report now so when we click on view report it will automatically run our report based on the RTF template and it should show the output in the PDF format so it is showing by default in the HTML template over here but the data will be based on the RTF template which we selected suppose if you want to see in the PDF just select the PDF option it will load the PDF format for us yeah the PDF output will look something like this so similar like what you do over here HTML PDF Excel you can see how the data will look in each of the formats over here as well using the BI publisher adding if you want to see more options like how we can rest it go to the edit report record on the view as a list here if you see these are the supported output formats currently for this rtf template based report and the default is html we can make it as pdf to be default click on save also if you want to disable the auto run property click on these properties and we can tell auto run unchecked click on ok now if you go to the view report and click on apply it will run the report and it will show in the PDF format because we selected PDF as a default output format. So like this we can create a RTF template for our BIP report using the BI publisher add-in for our MS Word and generate the sample report something like this. In our coming classes we will be enhancing our RTF template further and we will dive deep into furthermore concepts.